the thrift store is such a good buy and I love the shape of this little vase right here. It's only 50 cents, but I just think that would be such a pretty jar sitting out. So I'm gonna take this little 50 cent container, I'm gonna spray paint it with two coats of a matte black spray paint. The spray paint I like is the Rust-Oleum spray paint that you can pick up at Walmart. I'm gonna let this completely dry. Once it's dry, I'm gonna be going in with this little chalk marker that you can get at Dollar Tree. And I decided to create a little three dot triangle. This was so easy to do, I didn't plan it out, I just kind of free handed it all around the dish. You could set this out to put your keys in. You could also put a little succulent in it. I just think it's a really cute little dish and cost me next to nothing. So another great deal is office supplies and organizers. I always look for organizers. This magazine holder is only a dollar and would make a great organizer. I don't even think it needs anything done to it. I love this little magazine holder. I didn't have to do much to it at all. I just cleaned it up a little bit and then I'm gonna take the little label in the front and write in what I'm gonna put in this container, which is my cardstock. And how gorgeous is this organizer for only a dollar? So next up are these hoops, you guys. So I was at the thrift store and they brought these out and I was like, give them all to me. I was so excited about them. Uh, let's see, the larger ones, they have priced at $4 and I'm pretty sure, maybe they were half off. I may have paid $4 for them, I don't know. The smaller ones, they have priced at $3. But when, it, like this one right here is a 23 inch hoop. So I saw these, I thought they would make awesome wall art. So I picked them up, I have five of them. So my idea was I wanted something that I could hang up in my bathroom. So the next thing I did was I went to the scarf section to look for some like cream and white colored fabric. So I found some different selections. My thrift store also has a little bin where they say it's like a dollar for vintage lace. So I was able to find a couple of like vintagey lace pieces. So to do this project, it's gonna be really simple. And the cool thing about it is I can change this out if I you know, wanna do something different, but I'm just going to take the fabric and put it in the hoop like I would if I was doing a project with it. I'll cut off any excess that I don't want. You can cut it off completely or leave a little bit depending on what look you're going for. And then I'm just going to simply hang this on the wall. Now, if you wanted to replicate this project, you can totally buy um, hoops like this at Walmart. I don't know if you can get them this big. You may have to go to a sewing store or Hobby Lobby or something to get one this large. I was really excited to find these. These were probably my favorite find. So I grabbed this basket and I don't know if I was busy just like filming and not paying attention to what I was doing, but I didn't realize that this basket had roses on one side of it. I mean, this basket was kind of in bad shape, but I figured, you know what, this is okay. I'm going to show you guys how you could update this basket and make it look completely new. 
The first thing I did was just kind of clean it up a little bit. A lot of times baskets, what I like to do is just kind of run them under water and let them air dry just to kind of get all the dust off of them. Next, I came in with my screwdriver and I just tried to pop off these roses as gently as possible. They were glued on there, but there was not any extra residue. Next, I had to make some repairs. So I'm just going to take where the weaving has come off and weave it back through the basket and hot glue it in place. This is really easy to do. And sometimes baskets just have a little minor repair that they need done, which is kind of what I thought this basket was gonna be, but it ended up being more. So next I needed to stain where those roses were. So I went into my stains and found one that I felt like, you know, was a similar dark color. I'm just going to wipe it or just going to brush it on. And immediately I wiped off the excess because I was worried that it could be too dark. It ended up, you know, blending in really well. So I just did that on the area where the roses were. And then I went along the edges where I felt like the stain had kind of, you know, taken off over the years. Just kind of freshen it up a little bit. I didn't do it over the whole piece, just in some areas. Now, what I like to do with baskets like this is again, style them on my coffee table. So here's a look at how this basket turned out and how you can style it. I hope this gives you a great idea how you can take something you already have possibly on hand and really create it into the piece that you want it to be. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.